So we're going to be doing some crown work here today, and we actually have a nice good area to work with that's um, well defined, well demarcated, and we have already uh, shaved a little area so we don't see the vellus hairs that were here, but there was a little bit of hair here before we started work. We're going to numb that up. One thing that we're noticing is we have really great density going forward here, so we really want to try to match that as best as possible. So we got a ton of graphs today. We've already isolated all our graphs from the back. Uh, so we did that by follicular unit extraction. We used a 0.9 millimeter punch to do that. So we had micro incisions and we're going to take now those thousands of graphs and put them in through here. So in a minute, I'm just going to numb this up a little bit more just to make sure our patient is nice and um, comfortable. And then we'll make all the incisions. The reason I'm going to draw is because you did have a wheel here before. So we're going to try to find that. So everyone has a whirl in the back of their head and we just want to recreate that, follow what's existing, and then try to get it so it's following the way the hairs are going out further out too. We already have some uh, platelet-rich plasma made that we're going to um, inject in the graft site as soon as we make the sites. So we've created all of our graphs. There's a whirl going around this way with the hair, so they come around this way. So basically it starts right here and spins around this way. So it spins like this. So these hairs are going this way out and going here. So you can see this is gonna be great density for him once we get them all transplanted in. Um, in the meantime, we're gonna give him some PRP. So PRP is injected we like to do it at about a four millimeter depth, right under the epidermis. So they'll help the graft survive better. And it'll also help stimulate some of the hairs that are already here into an antigen phase of hair growth. Remember the hair cycle has a couple different stages. Uh, the antigen stage is basically the strongest hair stage. It's a growing stage. And really the goal of any cellular therapy is to keep it into that growth state. And by keeping the hairs more into the antigen phase, we actually help to prevent it from being lost. So you keep the hair in antigen, it's much, much less likely to diminuate over time and, and uh, be susceptible to hair loss. So we're um, done making all the uh, incisions for the uh, graft sites. The next thing we're going to do is put all the grafts in place. We'll come back and have a look at that once they're all done.